Hey guys, welcome to my video. For today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make the mini basket weave stitch. To begin, all you're going to need is some yarn and a crochet hook. For this tutorial, you will need to know how to make chains, how to make the double crochet stitch, the front post double crochet stitch, and the back post double crochet stitch. I have videos on all of these and I will have them listed down below. I have already made this little test swatch here using two different colors so it's going to be easy to see how the stitch is going to be made. I will have the yarn that I'm using and the hook that I'm using listed down below. For the body of my test swatch, I have already made the mini basket weave stitch. This is what it will look like. If you're starting from the very beginning making chains, you're going to make an even number of chains. You're then going to work one double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook, then one regular double crochet into each chain across for your first row. This stitch is going to be one row repeated for however long you want your project. I will show you how to make that one row on the row that I am currently working. And I have already made two chains on my hook. Into the first stitch of your row, you're going to make one regular double crochet. For your next stitch, work a back post double crochet stitch. For your next one, work a front post double crochet stitch. For your next stitch, work a back post double crochet. For your next one, work a front post double crochet. In the next stitch, work a back post double crochet. In the next stitch, work a front post double crochet. You can see how that's looking so far. So you're going to alternate between making front posts and back posts until you reach the end of your row. When you reach the last stitch of your row, you're going to work one regular double crochet. I do have a little tip on where you're going to work this double crochet to keep your edges straight. So normally you would work it right here in the top of the stitch. You're actually going to work it right here into this loop that's connected to some previous chains on your last row. So that's going to be right there. And it's going to keep your edges straight that way they don't get all wonky from making these front post and back post stitches that's how that row is going to look so I did want to give another little tip really quick when working these stitches just in case you get off on your counting of which ones are going to be front post and back post so if you were starting on this row so you can see that this post is facing you, and then this one right here is more sunken in. This one's facing you, this one's sunken in. On the ones that are facing you, you're going to be working back posts on those. On these that are sunken in, you're going to be working front posts. So that's a good way to just remember, just in case you're not really paying attention and it gets off and you're like, oh no, which one do I work next? Any that are sort of facing you, you're going to be working back posts over. On the sunken ones, you're going to be working front posts. And I hope that tip helps. So like I said earlier, you would just repeat this one row for however long you want your project. And that is going to be how to make the mini basket weave stitch. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more from me. You can follow me on all social media at Crochet Me Lovely, all one word. 
please leave me any feedback down below for future videos and tutorials that you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for being here and have a great day.